Hey guys, so I've got another Ulta haul for you. I know, it seems like I spend a lot of money on makeup at Ulta, but really I don't. Um, actually, I got this stuff with my Ulta reward points, and I know you like have to spend money at Ulta to get the reward points, but I really don't spend a lot of money on makeup at Ulta. Um, what I do is instead of going to Walmart to get like the shampoo or, you know, going to the salon to get the shampoo or whatever, um, or bath products, what have you, instead of doing that, I made that little teeny extra drive to Ulta and it really adds up really quick to be Ulta reward points, which everybody loves free stuff, right? So, um, okay, well, let me show you what I got. Um, I'll start with the perfume. I know I'm getting a lot of free perfume, right? Um, I love perfume and if it's free, it's free. So this is kind of a new one. This is the Dolce & Gabbana. I'll show you. Here's the, uh, the thing it comes in. This is the Dolce & Gabbana La Impratrice number no. three. And this is all the bottle looks like, nothing fancy. But it it smells really nice. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's not like my favorite perfume by any means. I definitely would not have bought it. And I know that sounds bad, but um, it really is a nice perfume. I'm not knocking the perfume. But um, it is kind of citrusy. And I'm not a super citrus kind of freak. But um, it kind of reminds me of the beach. And that's why I liked it. Not that there's citrus at the beach. I don't know. It just reminds me of the beach. So, um, I don't know. It just, I, I can't put my finger on it. It's very light and, like I said, almost citrusy, but it's kind of sweet at the same time. It just reminds me of the beach, so I got it. And it's the La Impertrice number no. three. It does smell really nice. And there were a few other people in the store that were buying it. So, it smells really good. And if you can, give it a try. See what you think about it. Let me know. And Ulta was having this thing where if you buy a perfume that's $30 or more, then you get a free bag. They had a blue one, a cream colored one, an apple green one, a hot pink one, and oh, and like a yellow one. And that one was really pretty. And I almost got the creamy white one, but let's see. Surprise, surprise, I got the pink one. There's what it looks like. It's, um, Here's the handles. It's got, I mean, it's really nice for a free bag. It's, you know, that imitation leather or whatever. But the hardware on it's really nice. And here's what it looks like on the inside. It's got a magnetic slat snap closure. It's just big and it's got a little one slide pocket. But it'll be awesome for taking to the beach or um, running around with the kids and going to the park and all that stuff you do that you don't want to mess up your nice bags for, right? So you can throw some, you know, a couple drinks in there and some snacks and have a little picnic or whatever. Anywho, I really like that and it was awesome because it was free. And um, I only got, well, I guess we can count it as one other thing, but it's four other things and that's the Revlon Color Stay Soft and Smooth Lipsticks. Now, I've heard these be compared to the MAC Slim Shines. I kind of think they're better than the MAC Slim Shines. And I know a lot of people won't agree with me, but for me, the MAC Slim Shines are so moisturizing that they just slide right off my lips in just like a few minutes. Um, these are really moisturizing, but they... Okay, it's really hard to explain. It's kind of like they moisturize your lips, then they dry. They don't like dry to your lips or get you know, flaky and dry, but it almost is like the color seals in. There we go. That's a better way to put it. And it doesn't dry my lips out. It doesn't super moisturize them, but it doesn't dry them out. And when it, I first put it on, it is nice and um, moisturizing. And it, it's really shiny. Let me show you. Um, here's the four I got. I got this one in Creamy Coral, since I'm so into coral lately, right? So I'll swatch this for you. Here's, here's what it looks like in the tube and there it is right there you can see let me move it back um it really is it really does give a nice sheen almost glossy and I don't ever put a lip gloss over these I have never found a reason to 
I don't know how that would work. Hmm. I'll have to try that out and let you guys know. This one is um, Pink Indulgence, which is a nice, if I could get that. This one, for some reason, the lid's always stuck. And they kind of click up. They make that weird sound. Anyway, there's the Pink Indulgence, and it's like a nice bubble gummy pink color. I can't usually wear a lot of lavendery pink colors, but this one is a nice, um, there you go, blue bubblegum pink. And I can wear this one, and it, I can wear this one, so I really like it. Oh, I'm trying to put the lid on the wrong way. And this one is um, Luscious Rose, and it's kind of a mauve -y color. I really like this one. It's very um, neutral, almost. Let me show you what I mean. This is almost the same color as my lips, and I really like that. There you go. And I really like these a lot. They were buy one, get one free at my Ulta, and if I had known that, I probably would have picked up a whole bunch more. And um, this one is natural cashmere, and this one is probably my favorite. No matter what you're wearing or what I'm wearing, this one seems to go with everything. It's like... No matter what I'm wearing, I can always, I usually keep this one in my makeup bag because no matter what, this will go with it. And there it is right there. Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about in there. And um, I really like these a lot and I do plan to pick up some more. Hopefully I can catch them on sale somewhere. I'm going to check my local drugstores. Um, trying to think of the price. I think they were $8.49 at Ulta, buy one, get one free. You know, there are different prices everywhere, so please don't quote me on that. Hopefully, they're similarly priced where you are. I know it seems, you know, a little bit high, but um, like I said, the Max Slim Shines are a little bit higher than that. I think they're $10 right now since they're being discontinued, and to me, these are even better. So, if you like those, um, check these out. And that's it for my haul, guys. So, um, I hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. See you guys later. Bye.